Oh man, surprisingly I used to work with kids. Not because of the police, because I quit. <laughs> I used to do a lot of art projects with the kids. And I noticed me managing art projects that involve children and glitter. By the way, children go ape shit over glitter. Oh my God, it's like catnip for them. It's insane. But me managing those art projects is the closest I'll ever get to becoming a drug kingpin because I control the product. And if I've learned anything from the first season of The Wire, you never flood the market with the product, okay? Because kids are dumbasses. They are. They're tiny creatures that they don't know consequences. They blindly go towards things. They're tiny crackheads is what they are. And they have one goal in mind. Get all that glitter on my paper to make it look like the floor of a strip club at 3 a.m. on a Friday night. That's what I want. You do not want that problem on your hands, guys. Where you walk into the room, you inhale glitter, it gets stuck on the inside of your lungs. Like you just got done working a 14 hour shift at a drag queen's coal mine. You don't. I'll let that linger, that was a good one, I know, I know. I'll let it linger. Cranberries, what? Another reference. You don't want that problem on your hands, guys. So what do you do? You set out rations, you keep it simple. A little bit of silver, a little bit of gold. That's all they need, okay? But it's inevitable, they still lose their shit. You have the one kid that took his ration and just fucking blew it all in one space like he's a damn magician. Now he's in the corner bawling, just like, what did I do? <laughs> Typical withdrawal symptoms. For some reason, he all had an itchy neck all the time. You have the savvy kid, he took his glitter and he cut it with some of the sand from the sand tray to make it last longer. That motherfucker's going places. He's a genius. It's insane. My favorite kid, though, had to be the one that didn't use all of his glitter, so now he's taunting all the other kids with it. He's like, look at me, look what I got. Uh, uh, like a four minute song and dance. You're like, chill out, motherfucker. God. Got so crazy, I saw him do a bump of it off another child's back. You have to <laughs> shut it down when they're doing that, all right? You have to. You cannot explain to parents why it turned into a children's version of Breaking Bad. You can't. You don't. Oh, man. So, um, last joke, I'll wrap up for you guys. I, uh, I watch a lot of TV. I think there's... One show that I could absolutely do without, and that's The Real Housewives. Oh, what a piece of shit. Good Lord. I think the only way that we can make that show watchable is if we just put them in their own Hunger Games. Oh, you all would watch that show. Yeah, some of you are like, uh, no, you would fucking watch it. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. But instead of having like a victor, we just kill them all. We, let, we just let them die. There's one that wins, we're like, we're just not gonna feed her for a while. That's what we're gonna do. Because we get like 14 weeks of entertainment and we also make the world a better place. That's what we should do. And I make fun of the real housewives I do, but um, I respect them because they do something that I could never do. Uh, and I do it pretty regularly. And that is uh, blow a 65 year old Fortune 500 CEO on the regular, gross. Because you know for those guys, they're like, live in tropical areas, so they're very tanned and they're sagging, so everything down here looks like a melted traffic cone. Uh, and those women just put it in and around their bodies, just, ah, uh, yeah. They're not the real housewives, guys, they're the real heroes. They are. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. That's my time, thank you.